Good day, I'm Tamara McHale and this is your GIS News for Friday, February 26. A new administration will take over the governance of the country following Thursday's general elections. Preliminary reports have shown that the Jamaica Labour Party won the election by capturing 33 of the 63 seats in the House of Representatives. The People's National Party won the remaining 30 seats. In his victory speech Thursday night, Prime Minister-designate Andrew Holness pledged to uphold key leadership values. And we stand to be held to account for our stewardship. The cost of victory is the responsiveness of the government that we will form. Mr. Holness also pledged to work in partnership to grow the economy and create jobs while addressing the water, housing and education needs of Jamaicans. We know it is not an easy task because we have to do all of this whilst balancing the fiscal accounts of the nation. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller has commended the Jamaica Labour Party for their victory at the polls. She says the opposition will be watching the new government to ensure that decisions taken are in the best interest of the people. I would be the last person in this country to want to see anything negative happen to this country and the people of this country. And the Electoral Office of Jamaica EOJ is reporting a 48% voter turnout in Thursday's general elections. The EOJ says everything went smoothly for the most part, but there were reports of slow voting. At a later stage, the EOJ will be releasing the demographic information of voters. During Thursday's election, the EOJ profiled voters by collecting information on their age and gender. In other news, restaurant services and industrial electronics are being added to the suite of training services offered by the High Trust NTA Mobile Lab and Career Coach. Executive Director at the High Trust NTA, Dr. Wayne Wesley, says the new services will commence by the end of March. That restaurant services lab will be very critical in training a lot of the persons in deep rural yes. who will be able to benefit from these opportunities in the hospitality and tourism industry. Residents can request that the mobile lab and career coach visit their rural communities by calling 1-888-432-7868. The full interview with Heart Trust NTA's executive director may be seen this Sunday during Jamaica Magazine. And finally, unattached youth in Seaview Garden, St. Andrew and surrounding communities are to receive skills training through the newly established St. Andrew Workforce College. The young people, 17 years and over, will be trained in mechanical maintenance, electrical installation, telecommunications and more. The training program is the collaborative effort of the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, the Education Ministry, High Trust NTA, the Caribbean Maritime Institute and the Logistics Subsecretariat. Private sector interests are also participating in the program. We are struggling to find people with basic technical education whom we can train. We are pleased to be associated with a venture like this that's going to prepare young people whom we can then employ. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Tamara McHale. Thanks for watching.